Hey, Trace here, and this is D News, and scientists have finally completed a census of all the bugs in a specific area of a forest in Panama. And by bugs, I mean arthropods, which are animals with an exoskeleton, segmented body, and jointed legs. So ants and spiders and millipedes and a lot of, a lot of bugs. Most of the bugs. Now this may not sound like something you'd be normally interested in, but how often do you think humanity sits down and counts everything in a specific area? We never do this with bugs, never. We have never done anything like this. In the San Lorenzo Forest Reserve in Panama, 103 scientists with the help of the Smithsonian Institution counted every single bug in a section of the forest. They started way down in the soil, and they went all the way up the vines, the bark, through the leaves, the shrubberies, into the very upper canopy, 130 feet in the air. Imagine counting all of the insects in a 13-story high rise. That would just scratch the surface of what this project was like. It took them two years to complete the counting, and then a further eight years to do the analysis. That is a decade of bug counting. I know what you're thinking. What does this have to do with me, Trace? Why should I care about how many bugs there are in Panama? Well, let me tell you, we've known for a long time that of the animals you can see, insects were probably the most varied of any single group and likely the most numerous. But now we know, based on data, that insects outnumber plants 17 to one. They outnumber humans 312 to one. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Actually, you don't have to really be afraid. These entomology experts were counting the bugs to establish a baseline. Because how would you know if there are more or fewer bugs than there used to be if you didn't know how many bugs there used to be? A lot of people get squeamish around them, but bugs really aren't all that bad. I mean, except for mosquitoes, they suck. The majority of insects maintain and care for nature. They encourage decomposition, they pollinate flowers, they act as predators and parasites for herbivores. Not to mention a lot of our medications and remedies come from nature. So the more bugs we can catalog, the higher the chances of finding a groundbreaking medication that could maybe cure cancer or help us regrow limbs or turn us into Spider-Man. All right, maybe not that last one. That's more of like a personal dream of mine, but you know, you know who knows? We'll never know if we don't look. More food for thought, insects are food for a lot of animals. Small mammals eat millions of insects a year, and even chimps rely on insects as a staple for vitamins and protein. Even humans used to eat bugs, and speaking of which, if you're interested in seeing another modern human eat some bugs, tune in later this week. Start a buzz down in the comments and tell us about your favorite bug or, you know, your least favorite bug. I think mine might be the praying mantis. It's pretty cool, unless you, I mean, unless you were one and you just mated, that would be not cool. This week is apocalypse week and you do not want to miss a single episode, not to mention my bug eating extravaganza later this week. So thanks for watching, I'm Trace. Catch you later.